If you um, look at data on productivity of workers, we see that basically in the last 30 years, the productivity of workers on average has increased dramatically. Data talk about an 80% increase from 1969 up until the years 2000. Now, what was the price that workers had to pay in order to increase their productivity? The obvious answer is time. All of us were asked to sacrifice our time. And we actually have research that shows that the average American worker now works five weeks full time more than what he used to do back in the beginning of the 70s. Is this the only way? Can we be as productive through alternative um, ways? Well, our paper is the first attempt at trying to find a way to change the rules of the game, if you want. Uh, we believe our findings show that actually uh, people can be better and can be more productive, uh, do more, perform better, if they stop doing and maybe start thinking a little bit more. We went into a company and uh, looked at uh, employees that were going through a training program over a period of 30 days. We asked to some of these employees uh, to just keep on doing uh, what the usual training program was about, without any intervention on our part. And then we asked to some other employees uh, to take the last 15 minutes of their working day to stop and think, writing down on a diary, the main lessons that they learned uh, through, uh, during that day. At the end, all the employees went through a test that was meant to assess uh, how much they learned during the training process. And employees who took the last 15 minutes of their day writing down the main lessons learned and reflecting upon uh, the learning performed 23% better than those who spent the last 15 minutes of their day working. We actually find uh, that uh, the reason why people perform better when they think about uh, what they're learning is because, at least in part, because afterwards they feel more competent, more confident about what they were doing. So the fact that you actually take some time and put some time aside in order to think about what you're doing enables you to feel more confident about your capability of performing in that task. And this in part explains why in the end you end up performing better in that particular task. First of all, the good news, uh, that is, uh, we are starting to hear companies uh, that actually encourage uh, their employees uh, to take some time aside for reflection. I'm thinking about uh, um, what is called after-action uh, reviews uh, or post-mortems, that are activities that usually companies uh, ask their teams uh, to, to, to do when something in a project went wrong. And so the team members are asked to set, them, to set aside some time and think about what happened and how they could have avoided the failure of the project. Of course, there is a big challenge here, and that is uh, these activities are activities that are, taken, are done at the team level, are done occasionally, and only when some failure exists. What we are actually, what we would like individuals to learn out of our research is that they should engage in reflection on a daily basis as part of their routine, let's say. Not only when bad things happen, but also when good things happen or when they are just in a normal, usual day with nothing special happening. And it's something that uh, should be done uh, at the individual level, so each employee should do it. Now, how do you do it? In practical terms, when we went on the field, we just asked employees uh, to uh, take some paper and pencil or to just work on a, you know, the, the screen of a word processor. So nothing special. There is no need to use fancy tools in order to engage in these efforts. The crucial aspect is that you should force yourself to set aside, to set aside some time. And this is the, the crucial part because we all do many, many things during the day and it takes uh, uh, a lot of self-discipline to say, okay, now I'm going to stop and maybe I've worked enough for today. It's now time for me to actually learn a bit more and start thinking about what I did today and what were the key strategies that I implemented, what were the key lessons that I actually learned. This simple activity is something that we think can prove very powerful.
as I said, the great challenge for all of us uh, is to keep reminding ourselves to stop and think. So one of my co-authors on this paper actually uh, at one point sent me a, a nice picture that he found on the web in which there is this giant sign with the, on it uh, the, the writing stop and think. And there is a man looking at this sign. So I printed it out and I put it in front of my desk so that now when I look around, when I'm working, sometime I look at it and say, okay, now it's time for me to reflect.